man, whoever installed this van, I hate you. That's all I can say is I hate you. What's going on guys, it's your boy Kid Steezy. I don't know if it sounds a little echoey in here or not, but as you can tell, I'm inside of a box truck. This is a uh, old U-Haul truck and we are going to steeze it out for my boys over at Clutch Sneakers. They are actually doing a mobile like shoe store. It's gonna be freaking sweet, but here it is. It's a big old box truck. We're gonna put, we're gonna color change the whole thing from white to a matte red with their logo and Instagram and all that good stuff on it. So let's get to it. So I kind of already started, but I'm gonna go ahead and remove these rails from the inside. So that way I can get a nice smooth surface to work with instead of having to wrap around each and every single one of these. But as you can tell, there's an old wrap on here. There's still some U-Haul stickers behind it. So it's gonna have quite a bit of prep to do, but this is all old wrap. This white is wrapped. You see these lines right here? That means there's a sticker underneath there. And you see the seam right here of that wrap that's on there right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove all those rails from the inside so I can get rid of all these little bulbs or whatever you wanna call them. Take off all the wrap and then prep it and get wrapping. And we're also gonna wrap the cab. So Okay guys, so I got the other side pretty much all taken off, all the white wrap. Um, and uh, I just need to take off all the remaining decals on the other side, but I'm gonna go ahead and keep fighting with this wrap and taking it off with the steamer. Uh, it's, as you can tell, it's super dark already. It's barely like six o'clock, it's so dark. So I got this little light on, hopefully it'll help, but I'm gonna just try to continue to get this side knocked out. I got all of the wrap removed. So now the, all that's left is all the U-Haul stickers. Um, I talked to the client and they don't want to remove, they want to remove as least as possible and then just get it wrapped up uh, just because I guess they're on a deadline. Um, so what I was gonna do was just remove all the lettering so that way that doesn't show through the wrap. Um, but man, whoever installed this van, I hate you. That's all I can say is I hate you. Uh, I don't know what the heck they're thinking, man. They have decal stacked on top of decal and stacked on top of decal, stacked on top of decal. So this is a decal on a sticker on a decal on a sticker. So there's like four or five layers of this decal stacked up on each other, which I have no idea why they would do that. Uh, I'm guessing like whenever they needed to revamp the logo or whatever, um, instead of taking the time to remove it they just kept stacking and stacking and stacking it onto the letters um, like you can see right here this is all ghosting already I already took off all of these letters so to be very careful because I mean but look all of this is going to show through the wrap guys so anytime you think you want to get a wrap and you're thinking of putting it over something it's not going to hide stuff like this it's just going to show it even more I'm pulling it off and look you see the, there's another letter underneath there but it, what, so what it looks like happened was, um, looks like they sideswiped something. So you can see right here, you see it looks like they sideswiped something right here. And so to fix it, instead of taking off the decals and putting it on, they just keep stacking them. So you can hide as many scratches as possible, I guess. I, that's what I'm thinking happened. It's cheap. I don't think it would have been that much longer to uh, actually take the letters off and then reinstall it, but why not if it's already lined up and everything how i would do things but what can i do so i'm about to take those off and then uh start decontaminating or and keep getting all this uh, adhesive off all right guys so i got this side knocked out and wrapped already um bolts are already put back in i'm about to get started on the other side um let's check it out it looks pretty cool you're gonna see some stuff on the bottom on, underneath because he didn't he opted to not take off any of the other decals on the, on the bottom so this is gonna be visible but from far away you can't really tell so it's not gonna look bad once his logo and everything is thrown on there. Got my boy Mark in here, getting the uh, inside knocked out. Hop into this side, about to get some chemicals thrown onto here. Get all the glue residue off. Um, like I said, all of these stickers are staying on. 
um, he just wanted the letters removed so he couldn't read anything. So there's just gonna be kind of like a line following the outline of these stickers. As you can tell, I am on my roof because I didn't account for um, the height of the van when I first started, but um, yeah, we have to do what we have to do because I don't have any scaffolds or anything like that because this is my first really, really big job. Um, so I, I made use with what I had and I had a house that's pretty much the same height as this van and so uh, why not use it? But uh, I got it right here. I set up just on the edge of this and peeled off this whole edge. This whole side right here took off all the wrap, all the letters. Like I said, he's leaving all of these decals on. He just wanted the letters removed. Um, so I'm just doing what the customer wants. So that orange strip is gonna stay up there on the front and I'm about to get this wrapped up in the red. And that will be all the red for the, uh, for the flat parts of the trailer. And I already wrapped that side. I wrapped both sides already see there I've already wrapped uh, the fenders a couple fenders in the hood of the cab um, but I wanted to knock this out just to make sure because uh, like I said I didn't have any scaffolding or anything crazy like that to get me up in the air but we always find a solution to problems there's only solutions to problems right so let's keep, let's keep it going All right guys, so it's freezing, but we got all the sides laid. We got the cab laid. We got the front part laid. And then we started wrapping the silver pieces. You wanna see silver pieces red? So we started wrapping those. Not sure how those are gonna hold up. I don't think they're gonna hold up very well because they're aluminum, so they heat up, they cool differently. So, but we'll see. But we got those wrapped up already on this side. I'm about to get started on the back side. I don't know how to work my camera. Like to point, I'm, I shouldn't be a weatherman. But uh, I'm about to get started on that back silver piece right there. These 14 foot pieces up here, and then all of these up here. Like I said, we're gonna leave this part white, that part white, and the roof white, just because there's no room to work um, with those, which was understood with the customer. Um, but yeah, so how, here's how it's looking. It looks mean, bro. It looks pretty cool. But yeah, we're, that's what we're gonna keep doing. Um, it's a little tough for me to keep recording the time lapses and stuff just because my phone is acting crazy apple is sending me a new phone right now which is ridiculous because i just bought this iphone 14 and the camera is messing up on me so what can you do but uh, it looks pretty cool so we're gonna keep keep pushing well guys it's uh like 1 a.m right now but we got the van finished well mostly finished uh we got an event tomorrow but it started like snowing slash raining sleeting whatever you want to call it so we're gonna call it quits. Um, this just is one of those things that's gonna push us even more to uh, get into a shop, you know? Um, but let's check out the van, it looks pretty dope. We uh, we had to uh, bust some butt today to get it uh, ready for an event tomorrow. Um, so let's check it out.
themselves, JD and, and uh, Juan. Go and talk to them real quick, see what they thought about the truck. What do y'all think about the truck, guys? Man, bro, uh, it was a good first day. Shoot, my name's Juan, this is my boy JD. JD, Steezy did a great job wrapping it, yo, yo, doing yo. everything, making the shirts. Yeah. And bro, shoot, he, uh, man, he made clutch come true. So I appreciate yeah. Steezy. Y'all reach out to him for, for wraps, t shirts, yeah. um, stickers, pins. Hats, honestly, everything. So, everything you need. Steezy yeah. came clutch. <laughs> it's Steezy. Yes, sir. Came clutch. Yep. Yes, sir. But no, bro, we liked it. It was a good turnout. And, uh, we appreciate you, Doc. Yes, sir. Thank you, Thank you, you, Thank you bro. Thank you, bro. Steezy and Mundo. Yes, Bless sir. Steezy and Mundo. Yes, sir. Serio? Appreciate you. I wish y'all prosperity and success, guys. Y'all's new adventure. All right, guys. So, I lost the outro footage from the event that I recorded. But, so I'm doing it here in my house. But, whatever. Same thing. But uh, I appreciate y'all tuning in, watching the video. The van turned out great. My boys at Clutch loved it, and that's all that matters. Um, so y'all make sure to like, subscribe, and comment on the video. Let me know what you like, what you dislike, um, what y'all like to see next. Um, my next video probably post up is uh, me wrapping my wife's Jeep. So y'all stay tuned in for that. And uh, y'all be sure to give my boys at Clutch a follow. You can see that. At Clutch.tx on Instagram. And y'all holler at them for all y'all shoe needs. I appreciate y'all watching. We'll see y'all next time, Biscuit Heads.